Yeah, so she's got a Daner instead of a Ford. The only reason I didn't go with a Ford rear end, it was uh, five or six inches wider than the front end. Yeah. So if I'd stuck it in there, it would have stuck out a good three inches more on each side. Yeah. And it, this rear end right here is identical width from drum to drum as the front end. Yeah. So we got exactly the same on the front and the back as far as width wise. Yeah. For our tracking. Everything's identical width from a drum to drum on that to a drum and drum on that. It's the same exact width. I'll have to get a wheel adapter for the back so I can put my big meaty 50s on there. Yeah. Unless I get a set of different wheels. That's easy to do for the Chevy. They're not hard. <laughs> yeah. They're not hard at all to swap over. This will have disc brakes on it. I'm going to do the disc brakes. Oh yeah. Later. Yeah. Right now I'm just going to get it so it's rolling and I'm not worrying about nothing. And when I get ready to do my brakes. Yeah. Then I'll put the disc on it. Yeah. I'll just order the kit, and there's a kit that will fit right on these spindles. Yeah, that's what I did. I ordered it, ordered the kit, and I'll just went on there real slick, you know, yeah. and it looked real good when I got it done. Yeah, so I might as well just do that, and then I'll have the wheel pattern I want. Right. Yeah, give you right what you want. And hopefully I can get them, I'm going to take that to one of my buddies in wheels. Yeah. And if they are the Chevy wheel pattern, I'm going to find out exactly what wheel pattern they are. Yeah. That's where I'm going to have a disc brake pattern on the front, so. Right. They yeah. are 17s, I think. Yeah. Because I was going to use these wheels as rolling stock right there. Yeah. They're 16s. Uh -huh. I went and got two tires of a junkyard to, for rolling stock, and I was going to have them mounted on them wheels. Yeah. And then I got out here looking at it, and I said, man, that don't look like a tire's going to fit over it. And then I went out here and looked at the one that was out there, and it said 16 inch on that tire. Yeah. So they're 16, them are. Them are way bigger, so. I got some 16 inch motorcycle tires if you want to have them and put them on there. If you know, if you want those on there just for messing around, I'll give you a couple of. Mine had the old artillery wheels on yeah. it, the 16 inch on it, and uh, I went out and bought me a couple of Harley Davidson tubes, put them on there. But if you want them, mount those up and stick them on, you can. Buck them to them. Yeah, just so I have rolling stock, that's all I was going to do. Yeah. Them have to be 17s, I'm pretty sure. You mount your own tires? I can. I know how. I didn't know if you tended to do yours or not. I got one of those old uh, manual tire mounting yeah. things at the house, you know. And maybe we could do it right over there. Mm -hmm.